Tonight on the show, Megan Vanderhoof and Tim Vanderhoof will be competing to see who is the better meteorologist. Todd Emanuele recaps Syracuse basketball. This week, Ben is the health and wellness tip of the week guy, and where he eats, it is not healthy or good for you at all. This past Friday was the Oneida Chamber of Commerce dinner, and we have an interview with the new inductees. Good evening, everyone. I'm Adam Vanderhoof, and this is the Oneida News. everyone and welcome to Oneida News episode 9. Tonight's episode is the best episode we have ever done. You say that every week Adam. I know I do because that is so true. It is hilarious what Ben and Tim and Mother Nature do. We've got a great interview at the Chamber of Commerce dinner on Friday. Packed up with some great stuff. We are starting tonight's episode off with the Mother Nature uh, Challenge. It is between Megan Vanderhoof and Tim Vanderhoof. It is up to you to decide who is the better meteorologist, Megan Vanderhoof or Tim Vanderhoof. Check it out. Thanks, Adam. Winter-like conditions this week, cold with a chance of snow every single day. Check out the highs tomorrow and Wednesday, 27 and 28, are you kidding me? I think I need a long sleeve, a night, a new shirt from Advantage Custom Apparel. It's getting, well, I guess this will do. This has been your Mother Nature Weather Report. I'm Megan Vanderhoof. So that's Megan Vanderhoof's take at the weather. Let's see how Tim does. Thanks, Adam. This week is going to be in the low 20s. Tuesday and Wednesday, 27 and 28. The rest of the week is going to be in the mid 30s. So. If I were you, I'd go Advantage Custom Apparels and go get your nice sweater. Ow. That should really hurt. Watch. Advantage Custom Apparel and go get your sweaters. I'm your Megan Manor of Wealth Care. <laughs> wealth Care. Thank you both Megan and Tim for your weather forecast for the week. I think when I watched Tim's take, he was using the word health and wellness with the word weather, and that's how that last word came about. Let's now turn it over to Todd Emanuele. He went to Friday night's basketball game, and now he is going to be recapping that game. Thanks, Adam. Syracuse University opened their basketball season Friday night at the Carrier Dome against the Kennesaw State Owls. Syracuse rolled to an easy 89-42 win in their season opener. They played again on Sunday as well. Syracuse off to a good start, ranked number 23 in the nation. We'll see how the rest of the season goes. By the way, Kennesaw State, their most famous alumni, the one and only Ryan Seacrest. Reporting from Oneida, I'm Todd Emanuele. Tired of trying to figure out all of the new tax laws and deductions by yourself? Let By the Numbers Bookkeeping and Tax Service help. We specialize in small business bookkeeping and payroll, quarterly reports and audits, individual and business tax preparation, FAFSA preparation, and more. Visit us at NewYorkTaxLady.com or call 363-5583. You can also find us on Facebook. The most important thing we have in life is family. Families change and sometimes there is strife, but in the end we would do anything for family. Why, Why not, not give, give your, your family, family the, the ultimate, ultimate gift? gift? A Trust 100 funeral prearrangement with our family owned and operated funeral home. We can help put your family at ease when a death occurs. Do it today for your family. Give us a call at 363-2978, Ironside Funeral Home. Hello everyone, welcome back to Oneida News. So Ben Vanderhoof wanted to be the health and wellness tip of the week guy. Abby had to take a week off due to the pregnancy. No, nothing to worry about. She's fine. She's just huge. 
At any rate, Ben wanted to take over and he wanted to bring in his health and wellness food. To anyone else that's watching this, this is horrible food to eat, but to Ben, it's his favorite food in the world. Hello everyone! I'm Abby Payton with your health and wellness tip of the week. I'm 84 weeks pregnant today and a month and a half to go. And guess what? This baby's hungering for some McGang Bang. Hallelujah. 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 Well, first let's prep our table. I've got my table set. Now it's time for some food. Let's start with our McDouble. And then we go to our McChicken. Yum. Mmm. You smell that, honey? You smell that? Mm. I'm sorry about that. Mmm. Here's that juicy McDouble and that Christmas McChicken. So, we are going to be taking the McDouble, splitting it. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Let's split this patty here. Mmm. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. You squash the McChicken in there. Flip over the McDouble. Press, just like a CPR a compression. Lay off. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You have yourself a McGangbang. I'm Abby Payton with your health and wellness tip of the week. Back to you, Adam. Thank you, Ben, on your health and wellness tip of the week. To a normal person, a McGangbang would be one of the most unhealthy things to eat. I personally have never had one, and I never would. That is so unhealthy. Lying. He's lying, everybody. He has them just as much as we do. You almost know him. Your job is to be a cameraman. Yeah, my job is to tell the truth. I have never, ever seen your name be called Truth Teller on this show. Put it on the screen. It will be. <laughs> I never would. We are turning it over to the Chamber of Commerce dinner that happened last Friday. A new company was inducted and they celebrated Cheryl Manufacturing. So check it out. It was a full house Friday evening at the Callet Civic Center as chamber members turned out in support of the recipients at the Distinguished Service Award at the Greater Oneida Chamber of Commerce Annual Dinner. This year, Greg Owens and Matt Roberts, co-owners of Cheryl Manufacturing, accepted the award. Well, it's, it's, it's a great honor to be recognized in front of your peers, your colleagues, uh, the, 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 the politicians that, that, that run the city, and for them to single us out and uh, recognize us in this way is, is just a great honor. And it's, it's something that I, I think Matt would acknowledge we worked very hard at. Th this was a business that was born out of, of somebody else's trash is somebody else's treasure. And Matt and I recognized that um, there was an opportunity in, in, in the unfortunate downfall of manufacturing in the United States um, to, to build a business that would cover those niche areas that you can't import from overseas. And, and I think we've done that. There are no other manufacturers of flatware in the United States or Canada. We're the only manufacturer left. Uh, the, the second reason is that one of the problems in the you know, economy in the United States is that we don't manufacture enough. We don't make things anymore. And you don't hear that a lot. People want to talk about high tech and, all, and nanoscience and alternative energies, and those are all good things. They're very good. But there's no reason you can't be a diverse economy and manufacture things like forks and spoons and plates and toasters and appliances and things like that. Because when you do that, the manufacturing jobs multiply and they exponentially grow the other jobs associated with that.
And congratulations to Cheryl Manufacturing for winning the award. Next season on Oneida News, we are going in-depth, and we will show you how silverware is made at Cheryl Manufacturing. It's unbelievable. We have a new part on the show called Question of the Week. A few days ago, I asked you on Facebook, would you like to see Oneida Dispatch and Oneida News work together? We had many responses, and here are a few of them. Gary said, it might rescue the dispatch. Fritz said, yes, great idea. Holly said, I think you are doing wonderfully forging your own path. I feel like a partnership may hinder what you can do and the opportunities that may arise. These are just a few of the responses, and I want to concentrate on Holly's response. Number one, Oneida Daily Dispatch hasn't even talked to me about this yet. This is my complete idea. And secondly, I want to emphasize that if Oneida Dispatch likes this idea and they'd like Oneida News to be on their website, my show would never change. Monday night at 8 p.m. will always be Oneida News and there's nothing about that. What I would like to do is have a segment different from Oneida News on Oneida Dispatch that you know different people can watch. I think that our viewership, we have a great you know, viewership from 18 to 40 for age group. I'm trying to get to the older audience and I think this would be a great way and that's why I'm trying to position myself with Oneida Dispatch. So with that being said, I'm going to re-ask the question. Would you like to see Oneida Dispatch and Oneida News work together on a weekly segment, maybe a one to two minute segment on their website. So thank you for the responses. Please comment below what you think should be done about that. Last but not least, we have the winners from last week. Now, I haven't been doing the winners on our show. I haven't been announcing them because I wanted people to go to the website. And I understand the frustration. You want to know who the winner is right now. So I have listened to you and I will accept your offer. So here are the winners. We had a Peppy's Box Challenge last week between Scott and Garrett. A lot of people commented, and the winner was Deborah DeFries. The runner-up was Deborah DeThaw. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. No, Deborah DeFries wins a large Peppy's Pizza. Congratulations. Um, we also had a $25 Peppy's Pizza gift card. All you needed to do is like, share, and invite 10 people to Oneida News Facebook page. The winner of that goes to Holly Trask. Congratulations, Holly. Um, and lastly, 31 Express sub. You had to see whether or not Barb could make a sub in less than 90 seconds. Comment below. Robin Collins wins the free sub to 31 Express. Did you notice that all three winners were women? So, I said, wow, that's kind of surprising. All three of them were winners. So then I went to this past week's episode and I went to YouTube and I checked. And here are some really interesting facts. Fact number one, 70% of the people that watched last week's episode were women. Hello. 70%, that's huge. 70% of women watch. Then I said, all right, so a lot of women watch our show. What countries watch our show? Number one, United States. Number two was Spain. Number three was Canada. The three countries that watch the least, here's an interesting topic, the three that watch the least, South Korea, Hungary, in Greece, they all had one view from those countries. So to South Korea, that's what I got from Google Translate. And the number one state in the United States that watched our show was New York, the worst was Alaska. So those are some tips about our show from last week. So thank you to everyone who has watched, liked, and shared. Make sure to do the same thing on this episode. Next week is the last episode of Oneida News Season 4. We are so excited to be having the mayor on the show and a whole lot more. Listen, I'm Adam Vanderhoof. And this is the Oneida News. Oneida News bloopers are brought to you by Extreme Car Wash. 
Do you know that Extreme Car Wash on Route 5 in Oneida, across from Price Chopper, is the only car wash in the area that has two underbody high pressure water blasts that clean the dirt, grime, and salt off the undercarriage of your car, helping prevent rust from forming. And by Advantage Custom Apparel, creating quality customized clothing is the primary goal of Advantage Custom Apparel. We help our customers look their very best. With these here McDonald's, nice. Ah. You're talking, you gotta move this thing up and talk about We're gonna be having lows of 20s and highs of... Thanks, Adam. Very cold. No. Nope. <laughs> okay. Hey, a sweatshirt from Advantage Custom Apparel, and I'm gonna whip Advantage it. Custom Apparel, Advantage Custom Apparel, Advantage Custom Apparel. Of course, you gotta act like you get hit hard. Thanks, Adam. This has been your Mother Nature weather report. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>